The Adelphi lineup is as follows. Batting first to Deason. The 2-2. Lifted. Deep left field. A lot of air under it. Watch it go. Jason Boulay takes the lead with a home run to left. 2-1 Lemoyne on a big blast. Market number one on the year for the junior. That one hammered deep center field. Johnson chasing over his shoulder at the wall and he doesn't have enough room. Dewey Roden cuts the deficit with a long home run over the 375 foot center field wall. Six to three Adelphi the score with one away in the bottom of the eighth. Roden's fifth home run of the year. Hitters count for Roden. Misses inside, and Rayton walks in a run. It's 6-4 to four Adelphi with only one out in the bottom of the ninth, and the base is loaded. Now one and two now the count. The pitch. Keniston swings, drives it deep to left field, way back. Are you kidding me? A walk-off grand slam, and LeMoyne erases a four-run deficit. A home run from Brody Keniston seals the deal. Eight to six the final in the first leg of this doubleheader. And when Dolphins fans, players, coaches, whoever look back on the 2023 season, that will be one of your landmark moments. This one left side again, carrying back towards the wall and it's gone, big fly. Adam Sullivan strikes, and that's the fourth home run of the day for LeMoyne. You got to credit James McGlynn for the stat shout out. Team high, 20 RBIs in conference. Adam Sullivan is on a tear. Hi. One right field gets down, and that's an RBI single. That's also going to advance a runner to the third. And an errant play there makes it, well, runner on second and third quickly against the Dolphins. Especially as of late, again, leading. And they've got a balk, and now they've got a free run. Make it 4 nothing. And this ball is absolutely annihilated. Absolutely forget about that. Roden had no doubt in his mind. And forget about five, nothing, make it six. That ball was mashed. Team Steel Defensive Player of the Year in 2021. Left side chopper. That's trouble in the gap. What a play made at short. Nick Nevins saves some potential trouble, ends the inning, and sends us to the bottom half of the fifth. No damage done to George. Gets out of it. Well, getting the results he needs, but starting slow in counts. That one left side. Going to get the better of the third baseman, Ramos. Throw home is not in time. Ball dropped. And Boulay's at second. Lemoyne gets a much needed insurance run in the form of Wyatt Patchett. There's two down. He's got to find a way on base to keep this one alive. Boyle will look back to second. He delivers. Swinging. Popped up towards short. Camped on the rim is Nevins, and he'll put it away. Finally, someone getting the best of Feliz. 
He finishes four for five. And an all-in point and out there from Boyle after making us a little bit worried, but nonetheless gets that final out, ends the game, puts it 0 for 4 in game twos overall in conference play for Adelphi, and they pick up now their 10th win in conference play. LeMoyne on a roll here in the NE10. 